Hello and uh, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm excited to demo and update the Cognos Report Runner SDK application. Link to the previous version is in the description below. The application moves to a web platform for easy upgrades and better user experience. It builds on to the initial version. Few of the key features of the applications are, it runs Cognos reports as batch on schedule or on ad hoc basis. It saves reports in different format, Excel, PDF, or CSV, saves report to any shared drive or sends them via email, user interface to add or update reports to a batch, also, you can update existing Cognos schedules. And last but not the least, you can document hundreds of reports in seconds. With this out of the way, let's dive into the app. On launch, we see a dashboard that shows reports scheduled by batches and regions. Also, we see top 10 long running reports. This builds on from the previous version. Details about the reports are on the report page. We can search for a report, set page size, or filter on a region. We can add, edit, or delete a report from here. Also, we can add a new parameter for a report or search for parameters against Cognos Analytics. Let's say if the report is updated, and uh, we added new prompts to the report. We can search against Cognos Analytics for report parameters. This will use the report path to perform a search and list all parameters. We can add any new parameters with a click and set a value for it and hit add to save it. We can add this whole report object along with parameters for a different set of parameters by clicking on the report object button. This will bring up the report along with parameters into a new screen. Here we can change report parameter values and output name and click on add. We have added a new entry to the batch. Simple, isn't it? Reports and parameters are shown in a master detail pattern. So we can edit both at the same time. Parameters also can be viewed and edited on parameter page. In order to set up a report for a batch, we need Cognos report path. We can obtain it from report path page. Simply select a package and type in the partial report name and hit the search button. This will display report path matching the name. On batch status page, we can view the status of currently running batch. We can also kick off a new batch from here. I'll enter P2 to run batch 2 from here. This will launch the console application that will run and save reports to a shared directory. On refresh, we can see the status update. For example, how many reports are processed and how many are remaining. Also, we can launch the folder housing the reports from this portal as well. Let's move on to schedule management. These are the actual schedules in Cognos Analytics. We can pull daily, weekly, and monthly schedules. I will select monthly and hit the submit button. This will list all the monthly schedules. Table displays report name, distribution list, and format. We can expand by clicking on the plus icon to see the report path to check which report this schedule is based on. I will pull up product by retailer's schedule in Cognos Analytics. Then we will try and update distribution list and format. Let's launch Cognos Analytics. And I will log in by providing my credentials. And then we'll navigate to report location and into the properties and into the schedule. This schedule runs in Excel format. And I will click on the delivery option to see the distribution list.
we have two recipients. Let's go back to the app and update the recipient and the format. I'll click in the distribution and it will become a text box and I can enter a enter or remove the recipients from here. I'll add a new recipient and hit enter on the keyboard to update it. Also, I'll change the format to CSV. Let's head back to Cognos and refresh the page and navigate to report and schedule option. Delivery format is changed to CSV. Also, our distribution list is updated as well. Schedule management offers you the ability to modify multiple schedules on the fly without page refresh. Also, you can quickly identify your monthly, weekly, and daily schedules and their attributes. We have another new feature that enables us to document reports. Let's say we are asked to document all the reports under a package. In this example, Go Sales Query Package. We are tasked to list all the columns, calculations, and filters and parameters in these reports. All we need in this case is the folder path. I'll enter the path and click on search button. I'll search Cognos Analytics and pull all report specification and pull out the query name, columns, calculations, filters, and prompts and list them on the page below. All the report specs are available in a view. In case we need to forward these to a colleague or to the business users for further review. Last but not the least is the report logs. All batch activities are logged and captured on the report log page. We can select batch and date it ran on and hit the submit button. It will display all the reports that ran or still running or that erred out. Also, we can search for reports. Uh, in this case, we want to see the error reports. Uh, let's search for it and then we can download the log entries with errors in Excel or CSV for further review. So this is the new and enhanced version of the app. It's a web-based platform for easy upgrades and better user experience. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or comments. Thank you very much for your time. That's all for today. Thank you.